our task, our test, is to make sure that the forces holding us together are stronger than those who are pulling us apart. That the principles of partnership that we came here each year to uphold can withstand the challenges. President Biden giving his final speech to the U.N. earlier this morning. The president touted his legacy even as many of his foreign policy goals are slipping away. Rebecca Castor has more. I know many look at the world today and see difficulties and react with despair, but I do not. I won't. In his final address to the United Nations General Assembly, President Biden highlighted what he sees as his greatest accomplishments on the world stage, rallying the world around Ukraine, managing global competition, and upholding the U.N. Charter. There will always be forces that pull our countries apart and the world apart. Our task, our test, is to make sure that the forces holding us together are stronger than those who are pulling us apart. But Biden's remarks come as tensions across the Middle East are surging, prompting the Pentagon to deploy more troops to the region. Ceasefire negotiations between Israel and Hamas have broken down, and the war in Ukraine rages on. The Biden-Harris administration has been a complete disaster from a national security standpoint, and there is no part of the world that is safer than when Joe Biden and Kamala Harris came into office. The last time Biden saw many of these world leaders was at the NATO summit in July. Days later, he dropped out of the presidential race. Some things are more important than staying in power. With Biden no longer seeking re-election, several foreign leaders are meeting with his potential successors. One of those is Ukrainian President Zelensky, who plans to meet with both Kamala Harris and Donald Trump this week. In Washington, Rebecca Castor, Fox 32 Chicago.